give it a stir. Wow, that was good, doesn't it? Here we go. All right, guys, how you doing? My name's Sai. This is Sue, aka my mum. Uh, we're back with another cooking episode. We're doing red Thai curry this time, so I'm going to pick you up in a minute. Mum's going to show you uh, all the ingredients and what's going to go in it. The full recipe will be down in the description below. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Well, today we're on a um, chicken red Thai curry. So the obvious ingredient is, of course, the chicken, uh, which we've got today already chopped up for us to save us a job. Uh, red Thai curry paste, you could make a green one, you can make a yellow one. They're all nice and more spicy than others. Uh, coconut milk, uh, pepper, any colors you like couple of cloves of garlic, some little green um, peas, a bit of courgette, and again your little friend <laughs> ginger and oh. olive oil. A bit of oil at the bottom of the wok. Yeah look at that, that is amazing. First of all by just putting the chicken into the pan. Yeah, I thought it was dealing with spicy because the pepper was so small, but it's just a sweet. Yeah, it's pepper. just a. Uh, they sell uh, oh. peppers like this in yeah. this size. Or um, I'll tell you, that's what I do with the bigger ones. So I go around and I just pop, just pull everything out at once. Yeah, yeah. that's a bit uh, fancy, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. Could, <laughs> it could have shown me. A, you could have shown me. Always willing to learn new things. It's all about learning and cookery and that. Mm, you're best to learn from. Oh, thank you. But my way's not the best way. Nobody's way is the best way, really. It's just the way you do things or the way you like things. Right, that's the pepper. Yep, we're we're going to keep things there. a little bit chunky for this because okay. the chicken's going to take the longest to cook. But we don't want the vegetables to go to a mush. Yeah, okay. I know the, so, uh, this with the spaghetti bolognese, so we're going to do that and then half, sort of. Uh, that'll be about right, yeah. Or do you want it half again? No, no, not half again. That'll be too mushy, right? Over. Yeah, that'll be too mushy. So usually, when I do the full pepper, I go around the top and then I just pop the top out and then I go cut them all into rings and then stack the rings on top and then go yeah. down yeah. and then down again and then it should be it's all done, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to cut them like that. Yep. Right, the chicken's just going to sizzle away. So the can be quite slippy and shiny on top and you've got to be a bit careful, but if you do it from the side, they just cut like paper. Could be that nice, they do. <laughs> so that's it. You don't need to put those in half again, I don't think. No, that's think. fine. I'll That'd just be all right. do it down the thing, yeah. You say mine's not popping. Yeah, yours will be popping though, I mean, you'll be popping chicken. <laughs> right, courgette, so we're doing like... Uh, that's it perfect, yeah. just like that. We'll, we'll bring you closer in a minute, but basically, we're just cutting it out like that, just make the discs and then uh, cut them in half again. Obviously, it's quite chunky, but if you wanted a fine one you could, but like you said, it would go into a more of a paste than something like that. So, put the yeah. that's it. Yeah, just... Okay, so we're going to put the chicken in there. Now, let's just give this little friend of yours. And then, uh, rubber beans. They're not rubber beans, they're sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas. Just the end. You can see those little Just in dry ends. Bits. Cut that. Cut that off. Like that. Yeah. And leave them full. Um. I usually cut them in half. But uh, like this or like that? No, that's it. That like way. That. Yeah. Think how this knife loses its sharpness and its gingers a bit. Again, like you did last time with the ginger, that's fine. Perfect. And there's your garlic. It's a rubbish 
plate. Yeah, it's all congealed and stuff, then it comes out well, like a Well, the top half is water underneath. solid, and all the water separates underneath, and you think, <laughs> but it is actually really nice. That'll just break down on its own, mate, and I'll bring everything else across on this plate, and you can add that, because this is a bit heavy for me to lift. Oh. chilli so um, this is obviously simmering away we're just cutting up a bit of that um, as much as you want as spicy as you want even if you don't like it spicy the coconut milk and all that will simmer it down anyway so just put a um, you can know your tiny bits it's, it's up to personal preference really but yeah just bang that in there and then we're leaving it to simmer for oh, about half an hour cut the chicken through and then we'll add the guys that is the red Thai uh, curry from scratch pretty much and uh, yeah Jesus that's my dad's so he's gonna be nominating on that in a minute thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we're all done and we'll catch you in the next one peace Bye.